They don't want to give up their house. But I think a lot of those people. And it's hard to give them. It's hard to give it up, right? It, it, a lot of these people were seniors that this is where they thought they were going to live for the rest of their lives. And also the equity that they had in their condos was really nice cushion for them. It was. Now all that's yeah. taken away from yeah. them. And when I say it was hard, like sometimes it's very difficult to even sell. Like, Well, that's what I like, think's what I think is yeah. going to have to happen is I think that some of these people are not going to be able to pay the assessments. The condo is going to have to foreclose on them. Right. So in order to avoid all that, what you could do is because the bank has still got the mortgage, even if the condo forecloses and you have a mortgage, the bank's still got to be first, dealt with first position. So it might and that be condo can clo uh, foreclose on you quicker than the bank, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and they need the money and they have state regulations that they got to comply with. And if you're not helping them comply with it, you're a problem to them. And uh, they don't might not even want to do it, but they might be forced to do it. Right. So I'm thinking what's going to happen is based on all our expertise of doing short sales and low mods and, you know, and uh, foreclosure defense uh, through the years on the show. What I see happening is people basically go to the bank and say, hey, I can't afford all the I can't afford this seventy thousand dollar assessments coming up. I can't my ink. I'm on fixed income. Uh, I can't sell my house because nobody wants to buy because of the seventy thousand dollar assessment. I put it on the market. This is what I can get. Mr. Lender, please take less than what is owed as payment in full. It's going to be one of those deals again. Yeah. And I really think that's coming.